WCTV Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Rob Nukatola. Well, good morning, everybody. We're checking out that radar picture. Nothing much on it over the past 12 hours. Likely not going to be much over the next couple of days. Much drier air in place. The skies are going to stay pretty clear. And yeah, it's going to be kind of cold these next few mornings. 32 even freezing for us in Thomasville with a breeze out of the north to make it feel colder than it is. Valdosta, we're at 33. The wind's going calm. Tallahassee at the airport, 36 with a pretty good breeze. Picked up about a third of an inch of rain yesterday. That brings our monthly total to two and three quarter inches. So now we're quite a bit ahead for March, taking a bite out of that rainfall deficit for the year, which is just under three inches. Now 56 was the best we could do for a top temperature yesterday. This time of the year, we're supposed to be up over 70. I think it'll be Friday before we have a chance to get back up over 70. So another couple of colder ones on tap today and tomorrow. And look where some of these temperatures are this morning. Quincy's at 33, Blakely and Moultrie with Tifton at 32, just like Thomasville, even freezing. We're at 37 for St. Mark's, our warm spot, Monticello and Perry and Cross City all at 35. Now we talk about that breeze out of the north and northwest, enough where you notice it, not as breezy as it was throughout the day yesterday, but it's definitely enough to make it feel a couple degrees colder than it is. Thomasville feels like it's down to 26. We're talking maybe a five or six degree wind chill out there. So yeah, you're going to want to bundle up for today. Higher pressure, the big weather player for the next couple of days, slowly making its progress across the Appalachians and eventually into the Atlantic. As that happens, our winds, which are from the north and northwest today, they'll end up going more north, northeast, and eventually turn back to the south by Friday, Saturday to start bringing back some warmer air. And then we'll start to look for the next system that tries to get here over the weekend and maybe it brings with it another chance for some showers or some thunderstorms. So we'll have things to watch by Sunday. Of course, today's just Wednesday and all is clear on the future cast for our Wednesday, for our Thursday, for our Friday too. Probably start to see a few clouds come back on Friday as we start to perk up those temperatures a little bit and bring back a little bit more moisture to the air. On the Gulf today, winds out of the north 15 to 25 early. If you operate the small craft, be advised after 10 a.m. that should calm down. Low tides first up this morning, 8.02 they get started. We've got 30s. It's cold. It's sunny out there. The sun comes up at 658. But remember, this is the weekend that we spring forward, which means next week you wake up and it's going to be dark until almost 8 o'clock for a while. As far as the afternoon goes, we shoot for 60 this afternoon. Maybe we can get there, though I'm not convinced we do everywhere. Tonight it's low 30s. Call it clear. Call it cold. I think colder tonight into tomorrow than last night into this morning, so be ready for it. Over the next couple of days, yeah, we're staying dry, but there's more cold at least through Friday. And then we'll talk about our next chance to get wet when it gets a little warmer this weekend.